Well, you guys keep asking for more flipper videos, so let's get started. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In this week's episode, we'll be unleashing our Flipper Zeros firmware. This should be a fairly quick video and I should mention to only do this at your own risk. Anytime you tamper with the firmware of a device, you always risk bricking the device to be a glorified paperweight. Still wanna give it a go? Well, great, let's continue. I'll be using a Windows PC. However, this will also work on Linux and Mac OS. The first thing we need is the QFlipper software from the Flipper Zero website. I'll have links in the description below of everything we talk about today. Once we download that, we'll need to head back to that GitHub page I've referenced in every Flipper video named Awesome Flipper. By the way, if you haven't checked out my other Flipper's videos, I strongly recommend you give them a watch. Once at the Awesome Flipper GitHub, we need to scroll down and download the Unleashed firmware. Having our Flipper Unleashed will allow us to use the device to its maximum potential. Out of the box, the garage door opener frequency is locked. However, after this, we should be able to access those frequencies. Great, now that our custom firmware is downloaded, let's open QFlipper and plug in our zero. Once it's recognized, we see that mine has an update, but we don't actually want to do that. Instead, below, we have install from file. Let's go ahead and click on that. Choose our Unleashed custom firmware, and OK. This process will take a few moments to complete, but once done, we can confirm it worked by programming our garage door opener to the controller and see we no longer get an error message. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember this device is dangerous and should be used responsibly. To those of you that who do not have a Flipper Zero, be aware of this device and stay educated on its functionality. Have a great week everyone and take care.